All right, example number two, we're looking at the rotation of a compact disc, or a CD. As it rotates to a high speed, it attains a angular uh, speed of 7200 RPM, or revolutions per minute. The radius of the uh, disc is given as 6 centimeters, or 0.06 um, meters, that should be in here. Um, and we're asked to determine the angular velocity in radians per second. How much time would it be, uh, take place as it revolves through a 90 degree angle, which is a quarter of a revolution? And C, if it started from rest uh, and it took four seconds to, to attain this RPM, uh, what would be the average uh, angular acceleration during this period of time? So for part A, it's more or less a unit conversion problem here because you're given really the angular speed but in the wrong units. You're given it as 7200 revolutions per minute but we want an answer that is in radians per second. So we need to convert uh, revolutions to radians and minutes to seconds. So let's go ahead and convert it. In one revolution we go through one entire turn that's going to be 2 pi radians. So we're going to have 2 pi rads up here, a rad, and then one revolution, and you can see that the revolutions will cancel out, and now we have rads at the top, and we have rads per minute, but we also want it to be in seconds. So let's get rid of the minutes by putting one minute on top, and then 60 seconds on the bottom, so you can see that the minutes will cancel out, and we'll have an answer in rads per second. So, using our calculator, we're going to be multiplying 7200, multiplied by 2 pi, and then divide that by 60. And that gives me an answer of 753.98, which I'm going to round off to 754 rads per second. Okay, so that's part A. So part B is asking for how long would it take in time, in seconds, for it to make a 90 degree change here. So if you recall, the angular velocity is the change in the angle, theta, divided by the change in time. We're looking for the change in time. So let's rearrange that equation rewrite that as delta t is equal to delta theta all over the angular velocity. Now it's really up to you if you want to go in minutes and use the revolutions per minute or you could use the radians per second um, or you could convert the radians per second to say degrees per second. It's really up to you. I don't mind. Uh, I'm going to um, look at this theta and just convert that into radians. So we have a 90 degree angle and we want it to be radians because at the bottom here we're going to have 754 rads per second and so at the top we really want radians. So we want to convert degrees to radians and you know that there are uh, pi rads and pi rads are one half revolution. We're going to have 180 degrees. So really, you're going to have um, 90 goes into 180 twice, so you really have pi divided by 2 rads. So let's replace that up here. We have pi over 2 rads. And if we put that all into our calculator, you should get 0 0.00208 seconds, which you could convert into milliseconds to 2.08 milliseconds. Okay, so part C now. We're asked to now assume that, let's say it starts at theta 1, and then it's going to reach its full speed, or full angular speed of 7200 revolutions per minute, or 754 rads per second, and it'll take it a time period of 4 seconds. So we're asked to find the average angular acceleration. So if you recall, the average angular acceleration is represented with this alpha symbol, um, and it's the change in the angular velocity all over the change in time. It's very similar to the acceleration is equal to the change in velocity over the change in time. So now the change in the angular velocity would be the final angular velocity minus the initial angular velocity all over the time period. And the initial angular velocity is soon to be zero because it's starting from rest. If it's at rest, then it also has an angular velocity that is at zero. So the final angular velocity is 754 rads per second, and we are going over a period of four seconds. And punching that into your calculator, you're going to get uh, 188.4955, so forth. So I'm just going to round that off to 189 
rads per second squared. Okay, and that's it for example number two.